So I'm going to talk you through my updated Longchamp collection as it stands in kind of end of June, very start of July 2021. Hello, 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 and a very warm welcome to today's video. As I said in the opening, I'm going to be talking you through my updated Longchamp collection. I think this was the second video that I ever did when I started on YouTube, and since then I've made a few additions. I haven't made any changes per se because nothing's gone from my collection, but I have made some additions. So I thought I would talk you through that. And what I'm going to do slightly differently to my first one, where I just talked you through the collection as a whole, I'm actually going to rank them this time in terms of my favorites to least favorite. Now I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna do least favorite to favorite. That's how I'm going to do it. So I will share those with you. Um, I'll give you a tiny bit of an overview of each bag. Um, but I really want to try and keep this as, as short as I can. Um, so for those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Nick. Fab to have you here. If you aren't new here and you've come from another one of my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. I'm all about living life loud. And what that means for me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, celebrating who you are. If you like today's video or any of my other videos, please do consider giving me a thumbs up. Also a subscribe. I would love to have you join me. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's start off with my least favourite and everything's to one side here just so that I can grab it for you. So if you see me leaning, that's where I'm going. My least favourite. My extra large travel bag in this lime green colour. I've spoken about this bag in the past saying how I don't love it. It's just one very large space inside. It has a pocket on the back, which is great for a phone, a wallet, keys, whatever that may be. The reason that I'm not a huge fan of this is the colour looks very washed out. The wear and tear has also been terrible. It's also a very large bag, which is practical, but if you're having to carry it for any sort of distance, not a great bag. Um, yeah, you kind of have to carry it like that, especially when it's got stuff in it. Um, which I can I can go with, but the colour and the wear and tear, poor. Not good at all. Not good at all. I bought this at the Bista Village outlet, um, and what was good about it was I got it for an outlet price plus a sale price in the outlet. So I got a double discount on it. I think I ended up paying about £50 for it. It's fine for that. It's not great. Not great at all. Next up, in terms of least favourite, and we are going here and this is the Le Pliage um, classic style and this is the briefcase the kind of small briefcase nylon briefcase um, and this is in this um, purple color you can see by the dust on it <laughs> it's not been used for a while mine's stuffed at the moment um, it's it's nice enough but it's more of a document holder than anything. I wouldn't put a laptop in this. I wouldn't put anything that was breakable. It's quite flimsy. It doesn't have a huge amount of structure. And I just don't love it. I just don't love it. Although a game changer for me, and this was something that someone who watched my previous video said to me, which is completely correct. I used to find it really annoying because I used to pull the flap out of here through the handle and I used to find that fiddly and they said actually why don't you just fold it over the top like that that's a little bit of a game changer but I haven't used this since so I haven't really figured out if this is going to be any better for me it's a nice bag none of these are none of these are bad bags in the slightest I just if I'm going from least favorite to favorite I would say that all you know five out of ten and above to be honest, none of them are none of them are tragedies for me by any stretch of the imagination. They're still great pieces, um, but I just like some of them far more than others. Here we go. Okay, then next up, and I am going for ooh, I'm gonna go for another travel bag actually. This is my little yellow travel bag. I bought this, this was the first Longchamp bag I ever bought. I bought this in Stuttgart, um, whilst I was in Germany for a period of time. Again, big open space, pocket on the back. I like with these bags that they carry the nylon color through into the bag itself. I mean, this is a little bit mucky inside, but I've used this probably the most of all of my travel bags. And actually, other than the corners, which are showing signs of wear, which is to be expected, they've held up pretty well. 
And what I like about these is the fact that they fold. I think that makes a big, big difference. I used this as a gym bag for a period of time, but because my gym's now down the road, I use a smaller bag and I will come on to that one. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's good as, as travel bags go, you know, just a small overnight bag. This is great for that. Um, is it anything to write home about? No. But it's nice. Six out of ten. Okay, next up, and again, for the same reasons as the other briefcase, we have my briefcase in blue, which again is in the classic style um, with, with this um, brown leather. Um, now, I actually prefer this one to the purple because I prefer the colour. I think the blue is really lovely. I like the contrast with the brown. I think it works really well. I wish it had a silver button, not a gold one, but that's fine. What I also really like about this one, and this has a cushion inside it, but I like that this has a black lining, which means that it doesn't show scuffs as easily. And I think that's quite nice. I think it's really versatile. Um, yeah, I would say this is, this is a better version for me just because I prefer the colour, but the functionality is the same. So the reasons that I don't use the purple one are the same reasons that I won't really use this. This is also a six out of 10, I would say. You know, the, the green travel bag actually, I think is probably a three or four out of 10. Um, the purple of this is probably a five, and then the yellow and this are probably a six out of 10 for me, I would say. Um, I just really like the colour. I think it's classic. I think I only needed one of these. I shouldn't have got another one, and I bought this one first. Um, and I shouldn't have bought another one because this is nice to have for the for the rare times that I use it. But when you when you rarely use something, don't buy it again. That was a mistake I made. Okay. Now then, <laughs> we're going. Oh, here. Yeah. This is my pink Le Pliage backpack. Um, this is currently my gym bag. This actually, probably three or four months ago, would have been maybe my second worst. I've really grown to quite like this. Now that I'm using it as a gym bag, I've grown to really like it. It's still probably a six out of 10 for me, but I actually quite like the color. I like the practicality of it. It fits everything that I need it to, just super easy. You've got the nylon color on the back there as well. I like this, you know, I've grown to like it. It, it probably, like I said, would have been my second least favorite and I did do a video a little while ago and this was one of the ones that I said is not my fave however I've actually really grown to like it so yeah this is next up so that's what number five probably number five there we go okay we have another travel bag and these are slightly at a disadvantage I think to the other bags in the sense that travel bags you can't really get quite as much enjoyment out of so this would be for example you know someone's not probably not going to love their Louis Vuitton keeple as much as they might love their palace you know or speedy or never full or whatever Pachette Matisse you know the functionality is different however I can appreciate these I really like this one so although the functionality although it still gets heavy Although it still gets um, it still gets a little bit unmanageable if it's got something like a laptop in it, I actually just prefer this in general. I prefer the colour. It's easier to match. Um, the wear and tear has been better on it, even though I've used it less than the no more sorry than the green one. I've used the green less. Um, it just has held up better. Um, I just prefer it. I just prefer it, and I actually prefer the mixture of the classic style with the grey. I just think it's a nicer variation of. So this would be my next one. Same as same as the others. One big open space, pocket in the back. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's a nice bag. Six out of ten. We're kind of in a six out of tens here. This is probably where this sits. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now this one might be a little bit of a surprise, maybe, because I love the print. I bought it in the wrong bag. Oh, my Pikachu limited edition top handle in the small size. Love the print. 
Love the black leather, I think this is beautiful. Problem is, it's too small for me. It doesn't suit my frame. I haven't had a chance to really use it yet, but the only thing that I can think of to use this for is weddings. I don't have any weddings coming up for another year. So I've now got quite an expensive bag that I can't use. And I'm nervous to use it for anything else. I don't just wanna use it for a dinner or for drinks or something. Because it's because it's got the white long term, I'm worried about damage or wear and tear. And I don't want to use it, damage it, before I've got to use it for the things that I really want to, which is weddings. So it's maybe not fair to rank this one quite yet, but I just don't think I would use, I just can't see another use for it. And that lack of versatility, even though I love the print, is a problem for me. I probably should have bought this in either the shoulder bag or the backpack, but I was too late to the party. They had the shoulder bag, but I was very much, I am very much a top handle fan, and I thought I'll use the top handle more. And I've just not grown into it in quite the same way. And e I even said to myself when I bought it, I thought once I lose a bit of weight, then this will suit my frame a little bit better. Since buying this, I've lost 20 pounds. I still don't think it massively suits me. So that's not brilliant. It's really cute. It's a really fun, lovely bag. I just wish I bought it in a slightly different style. But as a lot of people will know with the Longchamp collections and actually seasonal collections in general across the board, they don't always come out in every style. This didn't come out in a larger top handle. It was either a travel bag, which I just didn't need, or it was a um, the smaller top handle. So I went with what I could get, and I don't always think that's the best thing to do. I, I do, I don't think you just buy for the sake of buying, which I kind of did. I don't regret it. I just don't love it. Okay, final travel bag. This is a firm favorite. Love this. I think we're now into kind of seven, seven to eight out of 10. I love this. Look at the color. It's just this beautiful baby pink. I like the size of this. It doesn't get too heavy. Um, considering these don't have shoulder straps, I think this is a good size. Can fit a significant amount in it. This has, this actually is my hand baggage. Whenever we, when we were able to travel, so the last time I used this was actually in 2019, October 2019, when I went to Germany. And I use this as my hand baggage, and it's a great size for that. Just one open space. It is a little bit mucky, but that's to be expected. Pocket in the back. I just love this. I think it's fab. And I really like to match outfits. So I wear my pink Kurt Geiger Donnies with this. I normally wear a very neutral outfit, probably a pink jumper or a pink blazer, and I top it off with this. It's a very obnoxious <laughs> way to dress, but I really like it. I think this is a really lovely bag. Um, a really lovely travel bag. You get a lot of compliments for this bag as well, which is quite rare for travel bags, um, particularly due to the size. Um, but yeah, I think this is fabulous. I think it's a really, really great bag. Like this a lot, like this a lot. Okay, and then next up, let's go for, ooh, my Le Pliage Neo in the geometric. This is a great piece, versatile, love the size. I actually bought new bag organizers for this um, the other day, because I only had smaller ones and I wanted proper ones that were suitable for a 40 centimeter bag. Um, love this, I think it's great. It comes with a shoulder strap. I don't really do shoulder straps, as you know, but it adds an element of versatility. I just think this is really lovely, really, really lovely. This, I think, is a very good, this would be a great overnight bag if you just needed to grab some of your essentials. You didn't necessarily need to worry about lots of changes of outfits and things. You just needed maybe change of clothes, but you were keeping the same shoes, your wash bag, all that stuff, that would fit in here. Your wallet, your keys, all that. This is a great bag for that. Really versatile. Again, get, get a lot of compliments on this one. I like the fact that it's got the black leather with the silver hardware, and I got it for a really good price. I bought it at the outlet, and I got it about 65% off <laughs> what it would have been when it was um, in retail stores. Um, so, big fan of this. Big, big fan. Like it a lot. Next up, and we have my beige backpack. I think this is great. This is cute. This works really well. I like the fact that you have it as a backpack. So you can just wear, I tend to wear them one shoulder like that. Um, but actually how I tend to wear it more than anything, hold the straps like that, hold the handle like that. Sometimes I have organizers in these. I don't at the moment. Um, my organizer 
for this bag is actually in my small Pokemon top handle. Um, I think this is lovely. I love the cobalt blue, piping and stitching and button, silver hardware, beige leather, um, accents, beige nylon. I just think this is great. The club style really, really works for me. I like the continuation of the color, but I like the um, mixture of materials. And then I like the fact that you quite often have a little pop of something different with um, the stitching and the button. This is really great. Mine, as I've mentioned before, is a tiny bit worse for wear because it had a beer spilt on it at a sports event. Although actually I've gone over it a few times with a nylon cleaner and it seems to be doing okay. Longchamp actually sell a great nylon cleaner. So if you have one Longchamp bag, a couple of Longchamp bags, do consider buying the nylon cleaner from the store. I think it's about eight pounds, something like that. It's worth it just to make sure that your bags stay in as good condition as they possibly can. Big fan. Okay, next up. Ooh, 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 I think we're gonna go here. Ah. So this is my green club medium top handle in the color cactus. I want to say the color is called cactus. Um, I think this is fab. I've not owned a green bag before. I've got that lime travel bag. Um, but actually, I love this deep green. I think it's fab. I love this with really neutral outfits. Oh, it's so cool. So different. It's just, I just think it's beautiful. And again, I really like the cobalt. The kind of difference. I quite like the fact that I've got two bags that have this cobalt, but they're very different colours themselves as the base. So you've got beige and then you've got green. So they are different. They add a different flavour. And I love that. Um, I think this is beautiful. Love this. Love the top handle style. Obviously, it's a little bit twee wearing, you know, I've got green on right now with green. I probably wouldn't match it quite like that. Although I say I do that with pink. I don't do that with many other colours. Um, but I just think it's such a versatile bag, such a practical bag. You just open the top handle like that. Mine's got an organiser in it. It's one open space. Um, and then you've got a pocket in the back. And what I like about this one as well is that it's got a grey lining. None of my other bags have a grey lining. Um, they either have a white lining or a black lining, and the majority of them have a white lining. Probably 80, 90% of them have a white lining. So I like the fact that this is slightly different from that perspective. Really beautiful piece. Really beautiful. Okay, next up, and this is the newest addition to my collection. So we're now in the top three, and this is my Le Pliage. This was part of their Pride collection. This isn't a nylon bag, this is a canvas bag. And I don't own any other canvas bags from Longchamp. This is maybe my step out into new materials. I don't have any leather bags from Longchamp either, but I do have my eye on a couple. So this is maybe me branching out. I love this. I love the fact that it's a very simple bag. If you were to turn it round like that, you wouldn't even really know where it's from. And I quite like that. This would be a great work bag. Uh, mine has an organiser in it. Again, that was one of the reasons that I bought new organisers, was for these larger bags. It comes with a shoulder strap as well, which I don't use, but I like the shoulder strap on this one. I actually prefer it to the Longchamp Neo shoulder strap because the Neo has a big leather bit that actually is quite difficult to bend over your shoulder. This just comes with a fabric strap, which is quite comfortable, sturdy enough, it does what you need it to do. Um, it's one big open space. It's not lined on the inside, um, but I think it's fab. Like the silver hardware, black leather, really beautiful. It's a nice gray kind of gunmetal color, rainbow. You know, how was I not going to buy into one of my favorite brands who did a pride collection? Oh, that was just not, not gonna happen. So absolutely love this, fabulous piece, thoroughly recommend. This is actually my most expensive long shot bag so far. This was 175 pounds. Before that, my little top handle was the most expensive, I think 125, um, but yeah, I love this. This was worth it, I just had to buy it. I just had to buy it and I will use it a lot, but I think I'll use this much more in winter um, just because of the size and the material but I will be taking my bag, like raincoat, out with this because canvas, I don't think will fare as well in wet weather as um, nylon does, and I live in the UK. So there you go. Okay, loving that. We're down to the last two. Down to the last two. I think you know which ones I now have left. 
Number two. Ooh, this is a nine out of ten. This is a nine. Creeping towards ten. Creeping. Love this. Love the size. Love the colour. Love the mixture of materials. Like the contrast of the white on the yellow. Silver hardware. This scarf needs retying. Sorry. Um, I just think it's beautiful. Really, really love it. Um, again, big open space. This has an organiser in it. Pocket on the back. This is just a really nice way to top off an outfit. Super simple outfits work really, really well with this. It's stunning, really stunning. It's my most complimented bag of my Longchamp collection. You shouldn't derive your own enjoyment by what other, uh, what other people think, but it doesn't hurt to have other people like your stuff, does it? So I really, really enjoy this really enjoy this. I'm really glad that I got this. And I got this at the outlet. I bought it at the same time as the green. Um, I'm so glad I bought both. I was only going to buy this one. I went for the green as well. So glad I have both. But really good price points. They were both £59, which I'm sorry for these bags. It's really good value. Really good value. They're so versatile. And I love the fact that they can fold. That makes them really practical. It means that you can take multiple long shot bags away so you have all this versatility and you can have lots of different outfits and lots of different bags to style whilst you're away without having to pack super heavy items so whilst we're talking about folding that segues us into number one no surprises here my gorgeous 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 fuchsia club top handle in the medium size so the medium size means that it has a 30 centimeter base and this is the largest club size. If you would like a larger size top handle, you have to go to the Neo um, or the kind of seasonals. So my geometric is a Neo. I think the canvas might be a Neo, but it's a seasonal regardless. This is stunning. This is how it folds, like I was saying. So you could very easily do three or four of these and very easily pack them. The handles just fold down. Um, I think this is beautiful. What a color. What a stunning colour. I love the contrast of the black stitching, button, piping, silver hardware, magenta. I have this beautiful scarf as well that I bought from Etsy on it. This is a fabulous, fabulous bag. I bought this in celebration of a major life event for me, um, a, a mental health milestone. I was six months clear of a, of, um, yeah, I met, uh, I was, had a really tough time with my mental health. I talk more about that on my Instagram. There's actually a photo of this bag explaining what that's all about. Um, and now I'm coming up to the year. So this is a beautiful bag, it has a lot of sentimental value to me. I find it so easy to style. I just think it's fabulous. This color has actually gone into the outlet. So if any of you shop at Bista Village, um, this colour has actually gone into Bista Village, I saw on the virtual shopping. I will link the virtual shopping below, um, but if you like this colour, it is, it is available. And I think it's available in this size. I would absolutely recommend this. When I first bought this bag, I thought that it was going to be a little bit too small for me because I was very used to the um, large top handle. And actually, I've really grown to love it. I think the large top handle is maybe a little bit better for my frame, but this is a fabulous all-round bag really really love it can't say enough good things about it for me as designer bags go in my collection this is a 10 out of 10 very special to me very very beautiful can't recommend enough so there we have it guys that is my entire longchamp collection i hope that wasn't too monotonous for you i hope you've got a bit of a feel for why i love the bags as much as i do I have no plans to move any of these on, particularly the ones that I'm not so keen on. Like I said, they're not terrible whatsoever, and some of them, if they've got bad wear and tear, they're not worth anything. So I wouldn't move them on. They're worth something to me in terms of the usage of them. They wouldn't be worth anything to someone to move them on to. They're not in great condition. And to be fair, my travel bags in particular, I don't baby. The other ones I do look after really well, the top handles, the travel ones, they're not a staple of an outfit, so I don't worry so much about them. They're on the tube, they're doing things. However, really love this brand, really love these products. Would firmly recommend anyone who's into bags, who doesn't own a Longchamp one, to consider them. They have so many different styles. I don't own any shoulder bags, but that's the style that you could go for. Very versatile, really love them. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching as always, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care. Mwah.